Thank you, Dan. Uh, we're only three speakers in, and I can already see common themes emerging. I'm honored to speak at this student-sponsored rally to, to discuss recent events at the university. I've been privileged to serve both the Curry School of Education and the new Frank Batten School of Leadership and Public Policy in my 17 years here. It is a, as a representative of the Batten School that I speak to you today. My remarks are addressed to the students of the university, because this is your event. As students, you are experiencing a profound and unexpected lesson in contested organizational change. Be alert to the lessons of leadership on display and try to learn from them. As a graduate student at Berkeley in the late 60s, I lived through years of a university torn apart by violent protests against the war in Vietnam, against our leadership in Washington, and against the governor who fired a respected university president for his even-handed approach to student protests. Those years were marked, by the, were marked by the presence of armed police who used tear gas in the Central University Plaza and pepper gas sprayed from helicopters to quell demonstrations. Those experiences had a profound effect on my thinking and learning and also my lungs. <laughs> and I remember them much more vividly than I do many of my classes. Since the announcement of President Sullivan's forced resignation, you, the students, have made your support for her clear and have conducted yourselves with the civility, respect, and honor that defines our university. I suspect you will look back years from now and realize that these two weeks and what happens next will be not only among the most vivid memories of your time here, but also among your most profound learning experiences. You are participating, but you're also watching and learning from the behavior of important leaders in your life. Let me suggest that the members of the university's Board of Visitors are among your significant, most significant teachers at this time. As I come from a school with leadership in its title, let's discuss, discuss briefly the recent actions of the board from that perspective. I believe in general that board members are good and thoughtful people, committed to their beliefs about the best interests of the university. Their disagreement with President Sullivan involved the nature and pace of change required by the difficult economic environment. Viewing President Sullivan as not responding rapidly enough, they forced her resignation. All involved would now agree that the board misread the likely response of the university community. <laughs> will be a lesson in leadership and character. One view is that the board must insist on its legal and statutory right to hire and fire the president. That to reconsider would be a sign of weakness that would cripple the board and erode its ability to set university policy for years to come. I understand that view as I serve on several nonprofit boards myself. I would argue that for the board to persist on its wildly or widely unpopular course would be an error, not a sign of strength or vision. True leaders have the wisdom and the courage to embrace new understandings and change course. And <laughs> Here's a key point that we have to make. In doing so, they gain trust and enhanced, and enhanced authority that comes from the consent of those governed. From this perspective, the board has an opportunity, <laughs> has an opportunity to strengthen its role and the esteem in which it is held. Similarly, if President Sullivan is reinstated, she has a responsibility to work seriously 
and expeditiously on the areas of concern expressed by the board. Having clearly established the trust and support within the university community, she will be in a strong position, indeed the strongest possible position, to lead as we address those issues. We have gathered this afternoon on the lawn in the heart of Mr. Jefferson's vision of a university that would develop human potential and preserve the public good through higher education. Today we stand as witnesses to a remarkable test of leadership that will shape this great institution for years to come. With our students and an entire nation watching, I hope and pray that the members of the Board of Visitors will think of themselves as teachers and take this opportunity to instruct the next generation of leaders on how best to act in tough situations with wisdom, integrity, humility, and courage. Thank you very much.